Hello, this is Nightmare of Kingdom 785. So yeah, as a lot of you know, there's a server merge that's about to happen. Which might be like six months, might be one year, might be five years. It's coming soon. I promise you, it's coming soon. But anyway, when it does happen, I want you all to select Kingdom 785 to merge with. If you dare. If you merge with my kingdom, I will destroy you. I will obliterate you. If you don't join my alliance, that's a threat. I promise you, you'll be destroyed. Your army will be melted down into water. Because they used to be snowmen. Then it'll be water after I'm done with it. So I'll also talk about the merge and how it's going to work in this video. And then I'll also show you my kingdom's leaderboards. So you see our top power players, our top alliances and stuff. Yeah, a lot of you always say my comments are going to come after me with your stronghold 25 castle and kill me somehow. And I'm stronghold 35. I'd like to see that. Stronghold 44 is my kingdom can't even kill me. How can your stronghold 25 kill me? But yeah, anyway. Let's get to the server merge aspect of it. And I'll show you my kingdom's leaderboard after that. So as you can see, this was sent like 10 days ago. Development log, progress of server merger. So ever some thought they preferred to adopt a fair direction... I have a diplomat that they'll put in charge of your kingdom. It's supposed to be one guy in charge of your whole kingdom, and they decide who's going to merge with them. So your whole kingdom merges up with another kingdom, and then one guy decides it, and you vote that guy in. He has to be a top three power player or a top leader of a top three alliance, which I am neither. So I actually have no choice of what my server merges with. It's out of my control. But if you're in control, choose my server. They might choose you. I challenge you. I want the oldest kingdom with the most amount of players to merge with my kingdom. So I actually have an, an actual challenge that happens. Because right now this kingdom is like too easy to beat. I need a real challenge. I want the oldest kingdom with the most amount of active players who spend the most amount of money to merge with my kingdom. So I actually have a challenge. You understand that? It just says you're forced to merge. You can't stay on your own server. You're forced to merge. So it says here the diplomat chooses a server they want to merge with. So basically it's just one server merging up with another server right here. So it won't be like five servers merging into one. It's only one and another one merging together to make one. So two are making one. And honestly, my kingdom's like super dead. Even though it's pretty new, it's Kingdom 785. So if we merge like a similar kingdom as my kingdom, it'd still be dead pretty much, to be honest. No one ever talks in kingdom chat unless I start a fight in kingdom chat. It's pretty dead. It says for your alliance after the merge, it'll stay the same. Unless you have duplicate alliance names, then they'll just change your alliance name and abbreviation. So you can have your alliance still be the same. So basically everyone's going to still be in their same exact alliance after the merge happens. So not a whole lot's going to change. And we'll have a whole new round of the castle conquest. They talk about artifacts a bit. And they say in order to ensure fairness, they'll have to remove all artifacts and start a whole new batch of them up. Which I really don't like the sound of that idea, because I had to fight tooth and nail to keep my artifacts. I actually have two of them. As you can see, I have the Guardian Scepter, and I also have the Blade of Deliverance. So I have two of the six artifacts you can possibly get. And I had to kill people. I had to kill a lot of people for these artifacts. And I had to defend myself against stronger players to keep them. So I think they shouldn't withdraw all artifacts. They should let you keep them. What they should do is they should just change it so you only get like half the stats. It's like Blade of Deliverance. This would be True March Speed plus 5%. And the guy from the other king that merges up, have a Blade of Deliverance too. His will be plus 5%. So it's supposed to be like two separate pieces. Blade of Deliverance Part 1, Blade of Deliverance Piece 2 or whatever. They each have half the stats. They can also collect both of them at the same time. And that comes together to be the same exact stats. Or they just like slightly buff it. It's like if you have one piece, you get plus 6%. If you have the second piece, you get plus 6%. Then if you have both pieces, it's plus 12%. So you could have like 12 relics available. Just have each one broken up into two separate pieces. 
So that way I actually keep some of these stats that I had to work hard for. I keep the relics. Just split it up into two pieces. That's my idea. Since it's two kingdoms merging into one kingdom, it's just do that. Makes sense to me. I think it's unfair to have it be redistributed to random players. And people already worked hard to get them. And it says, when's the exact time the kingdom merger? They say, we have no idea. Might be five months, might be five years. They don't want to have a deadline they have to stick to because they're lazy. They're Chinese. So it might be a while before the merge happens. We have to sum all that up. Basically, it's just one server and another server merging into one. So it's two merging into one. So yeah, that's what's happening. So again, I'm going to say really quick, select Kingdom 785 to merge with. I want to have a real challenge. Only select my kingdom. If you have a lot of big spenders that can fight. Like a lot of you want to kill me for some reason, even though you're like really weak. You don't stand a chance. But I challenge you, try and do it. Kingdom 785. Pick it. But I can't pick you because I won't be a diplomat option. Now anyway, before the merge happens, I'm going to show you my leaderboard. So you can really decide if you want to merge with us or not. So for alliance power, we basically only have five alliances. After alliance five, the power drops off drastically. My alliance is rank nine with only three billion power because it's basically just me and the alliance and my farm accounts. So you really only have five alliances in the kingdom. The top one has 14 billion power. The bottom one has 11 billion power. And all these alliances I attack regularly and they can't stop me so yeah good luck good luck so alliance kills my alliance is rank four for kills is basically like all of my kills pretty much we have 357 million kills our top alliance has 680 million kills and for spirit stature my alliance is rank 25 why is it so low because again i'm the only active player in my alliance and my farm accounts so there's like no one donating, there's no one doing spirit, altars, and ceremonies. No one's doing that. So my alliance is only ranked 25 for spirit stature. The top one alliance for kingdom is 42 million. It's individual power. Our top player is 1.4 billion power, but he's actually like lost hundreds of millions of power attacking me. I'm not joking, go watch my past videos. This guy's attacked me like more times than I can count. He actually attacked me before I even started making videos. See, I just lost hundreds of millions of power just to me alone. And I ranked two guys one billion, then it goes down drastically, as you can see. It's basically our top 25 players. There's 444 million power plus. And top 100 players were 243 million power plus. Yeah, they're all pretty weak because even the best players won't attack me anymore. They used to attack me, like I said. And they lost hundreds of millions of power. Never since that, they haven't attacked me. Because they're scared. Weekly celebration points, no one cares. So dragon level. The rank 1 player has almost 1 billion dragon experience. I'm rank 4th, 759 million. How did I get so high? Because I attack people, like, a lot. Every kill troops, you get dragon experience. And also I do the spire to get dragon experience as well, every day. So Lord level. Our top players, level 65. Top 5 is 61. I'm ranked 50 because I never do the kingdom golem events, like ever. I'm too lazy to do them. See, I'm ranked 50 in my kingdom. Level 51, Lord level. Individual kills, the only leaderboard that matters. I'm rank 1. 257 million kills. The guy in second place has 211 million kills, and he's like stronghold 43. He spends way more in the game than I do, but he kills way less than I do. Let's get to rank 6 for individual kills. It drops way off to 71 million. Obviously, people don't like to kill their people. I don't know why. It's like a war game. You should kill people. So it makes the game fun. 
So yeah, the score drops off like drastically the lower you get. I take like the bottom 50 players in my kingdom have more kills than they do. <laughs> Almost. Actually not even close, but still. It's a stronghold level. The best player in my kingdom is stronghold level 44. I don't know if he has tier 13s yet. He might. I really have no idea. He hasn't attacked me for a long time because he's scared. He used to always attack me, but not anymore. Then we have Stronghold 43 player. We have two 42s. We have four 41s. Then we have a lot of 40s. Five of them. Yeah, I'm ranked 37 in my kingdom. With Stronghold 35. So those are my kingdom's leaderboards. If you want to, merge with us. Try and kill me. I dare you. I triple, dipple, nipple, tipple, dare you to join my kingdom and try and kill me. Kingdom 785. But again, I have no choice as to who merges with us because I won't be a diplomat. I'm like a rogue player in the kingdom. I have no say in what the kingdom does. So yeah, that's pretty much all I have to know about the kingdom merge. It's going to happen sometime soon. TM. Might be five months, might be five years. Yeah, seriously, try merging with my server. I want a challenge. I want the biggest, baddest server to try merging with us. And I want you to try and kill me. Because no one to this day has been able to kill me. I'm unkillable. I'm the best. The best of the best. So yeah, the merge is kind of interesting, but still, it's only like one server merging with one other server. So if you have like two dead servers that merge together, guess what? You're still going to be dead. If it was up to me, they should have had every single server merge together. Make it be like one big, gigantic server with tens of thousands of players. Now that would be fun. But yeah, it's not up to me, so I can't really do that. So if you liked watching the video, subscribe to my channel. Donate me money in the description so I can get stronger. I'll put the money back in the game. Upgrade my stronghold if you give me some money. Yeah, I have a lot of farm accounts as well. I need upgrades too because they reinforce me. See, so I donate money now. And I won't kill you in the server merge. I promise. I won't kill you. Don't don't mean like a hundred bucks. You'll be on my not hit list if you give me a hundred bucks. Streamlabs.com slash apple tots t o t t s. That's the tots slash tip. See you next time.